Hi guys, interesting app for you today. Um, an app, in fact, I've got to be honest, I didn't sort of, I suppose, realise it was possible, um, but it's quite clever. You may have seen me reviewing a indoor Wi-Fi plant sensor by the people of Kibachi. They have an app that you use to connect into the sensor um, and to read information about the plant, the soil, uh, its, its surroundings, etc. If it's hot enough, if it's got enough water, all that kind of thing. That's kind of, that bit's not necessarily relevant, but they, uh, their app, I mean, they're not very good at responding to customer, this, that, and the other, and it's not even available on larger devices. I think they have no interest at all in making it available for larger devices either. So um, I thought, well, how's the easiest way for me to get it from this device to that device? And that's when I came across this app called APK Extractor. So once it's installed, it gives you a list of all of your applications. So I head down and I find the Kabachi app. Uh, if I could run by alphabet, okay. There it is, sorry. Now if I tap it once, it extracts it and it stores it on the SD card. If I tap at the side here and I select share, it extracts and then it says, right, where do you want to share the device? So I want to add to Dropbox because I've got a Anyway, fact, that's it. That's where I put them all. I've got a folder that I store APKs that I might need. And I tap Add. As you can see, I've actually already done it once before, so it's telling me it's already there. But I, I say, go ahead and share. And then we can see, well, again, because it's because it's already there. Although, well, I thought I'd uh, moved it out. But let's put it back in again now for the purpose. Oh, no, it is there. Oh, actually, maybe when I tapped it, did it upload it as well? I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, that's what you do, though. You, you tap the share, you select your Dropbox and wherever you want it to be. And now when I go to Dropbox, I might need to refresh over here on this device. Okay. And there it is. 47 meg for that one. For, it's, not, it's not that complicated a application. I was really surprised when I saw it was that big. Obviously then it's now downloading this from Dropbox, from the cloud, and uh, will install once it's done. So there we go. Up it comes and we say, yeah, install please. And that's it really. It's going to now install it on the device that the Kubachi thing it shouldn't be able to run on. And it runs just fine, thank you. So there you go. APK Extractor. It's the one by me here. Is how you, I don't know. So M-E-H-E-R, because there are a few. I think it's a really handy application. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.